this priority all the way back up to high speed, what we'll see now is CPU utilization going up, but also the RAID configuration being built a great deal quicker. Hello and welcome back. And today I want to give you a very, very quick video that's aimed at you guys out there that have either just bought your NAS and are setting up your RAID configuration, or you've already owned a NAS for a while and you're thinking about redoing the RAID or reinitializing or changing your RAID for something that's a little bit more beneficial in terms of read and write. It's kind of overlooked, but I don't know if many of you guys know that when you build a RAID on a QNAP NAS, all too often if you select a RAID 5 or a RAID 6, that the RAID can actually take a great deal of time to complete. And that's because RAID configurations are actually quite a complex affair. The creation and the building block structure of a RAID 5 configuration, so all of the parity can be created efficiently as possible and combining the available storage, does take a bit of time. In the case of this NAS here, I've got an 8 bay here, the 872 XT, and even though it's got a six core i5 8th gen CPU, the RAID configuration is still going to take a hell of an amount, a long amount of time. But a number of you didn't know, and I'm really surprised by this, that you can actually tell the NAS to work harder or easier on that RAID configuration to get it done quickly. There's two ways to go about it. You can either go straight into the storage and snapshots menu, or when you go to the background tasks up here that detail how long the RAID is gonna take, click Sync Priority. From here, you can prioritize the RAID configuration. At the moment, this RAID that I've set up here, I've made it the priority that it has to be done as quickly as possible. However, if the NAS is doing other things, such as installing applications on another volume, perhaps it's running backups regularly, or any one of a million things whereby the NAS needs a lot of that CPU power to go elsewhere, what you can do is lower the priority of the RAID build. At the moment, it's taken around 200 megs a second. This is a NAS that's populated with quite large hard drives. But if we lower the speed of the RAID creation and click apply, we can see very shortly that the speed at which this is going to create, <coughs> pardon me, sore throat, will alter. Likewise, the CPU utilization will change too. So if we put that there, and we'll start to see the dip in performance. So it's already gone down to 145, down from 200 megs. And of course, it has increased that utilization and how long it's going to take, up to 24 hours. That was at 17. But at the same time, CPU utilization has now gone down. It has freed up. Oh, look, at it is proving me wrong going up there. It is. It will lower the amount of system resources going into the creation of that RAID. Alternatively, we could have switched it back. And then when we use the NAS in whatever way we need, say we were gonna stream 4K media or we had some VMs on the go, look at it, it's gone down to 76 megs. Um, now we've altered this priority all the way back up to high speed. What we'll see now is CPU utilization going up, but also the RAID configuration being built a great deal quicker. It will take a few seconds for the read write speeds to leap up again, but this is how you can alter the priority of RAID creation on your QNAP NAS. There it is, straight up to 218 megs, and at the same time, change the RAID configuration speed and how long it's gonna take. Again, 16 hours may sound like a lot, but you've got to think about just how much storage is being utilized. In the case of this NAS, for example, this is utilizing rather large 12 TB hard drives. 12 TB hard drives, six of them in a RAID 5 configuration. You should be damn pleased that's not gonna take more than a day. But nevertheless, this has been how to speed up or slow down RAID creation and free up system resources for your QNAP NAS. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to learn more about NAS and to support this channel and help me help you. Thanks for watching.